Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on beliefs in society, looking at secularization. One of the larger issues concerning beliefs in society is the extent to which society is undergoing a process of secularization and how far secularization has spread. While secularization is largely associated with the, in the Western world with the period of modernity and the movement towards rational and scientific thinking, this is not the case on a global scale. In Western Europe, the period of secularization can be traced back to the Enlightenment and accelerated throughout the period from the Industrial Revolution onwards. However, it is important to move away from looking at secularization in Europe in isolation, as not all sociologists agree that society is becoming more secular. In a global context, there is much debate over the extent to which society has become more secular, and we will examine that in future videos. However, in this video, we're going to focus on the reasons behind increased secularization in Western society. A number of sociologists have examined the reasons for secularization. We're going to concentrate on those in this video. Firstly, the work of Max Weber and the movement towards rational and scientific thinking. Brian Wilson also examined the process of secularization in both the UK and the USA, examining the declining influence of the church. Tolkott Parsons' views of secularization focused on the changes to our beliefs that accompany the process of structural differentiation, whilst in more contemporary times, Steve Bruce has examined the extent to which individuals have utilized technology and developed independent world views. Weber wrote extensively on religion and in particular the Calvinist movement in Western Europe. Weber's argument suggested that changes in wider society, such as industrialization, led to religion having less influence on society. He argued that society had undergone a process of rationalization as the industrial revolution progressed, and this was contradictory to the faith-based beliefs of pre-industrial society. As society came to lean more heavily on science and technological advancements, this reduced the need for organized religions to provide answers to the big questions. Instead, people could turn to science and rationality in order to explain the inexplicable. Weber also argued that Protestantism was the first sign of disenchantment, as it removed many of the mystical qualities of God. With Protestantism being based on non-intervention, individuals displayed virtue and worthiness through their own characteristics, such as hard work and being financially astute. This removed the belief that supernatural forces determined an individual's destiny and that man's own success was based upon their efforts. Weber argued this was a rational response to questions that religion had failed to answer. As such, science became the dominant source of knowledge, providing explanations for why things happen and how individuals can gain agency in controlling them. This replaced the very deterministic view of traditional religions. Right in the 1960s, at a time of great social change in both the UK and the US, Brian Wilson examined the declining influence of the church in guiding moral principles of individuals. In this period, social attitudes changed rapidly and religion failed to provide answers, remaining very conservative in its values and not reflecting the changing attitudes to morality. As a result, Wilson noted that there was a decline in attendance and participation in religious ceremonies and rituals in the UK in the years after World War II. In the US, he argued that despite proclamations of religious belief, the nature of religion had become superficial and lacked spiritual meaning for individuals. Religious practices were becoming more of a civil religion than being based on supernatural belief in this era. Parsons' views of secularization form part of his wider work on society as a social system and how the process of secularization was an adaptation to structural differentiation. Parsons argued that many of the functions that religion once performed, such as education, welfare and political guidance, were being replaced by other institutions as society evolved. Instead, religion reverted to having the sole function of providing for individual spiritual needs with its other functions being fulfilled through the education system, through economic growth and employment, and through the government. 
However, it can be argued that religion still remains influential in US society, particularly in both education and government, with many politicians focusing on reinforcing traditional Christian values as part of their appeal to the electorate. A more contemporary approach to examining the reasons for secularisation is put forward by Steve Bruce. He argued that the growth of individualism, particularly from the 1970s onwards, had led to a decline in communities. As a result, these communities that once placed the church at the heart of the community saw those ties weaken. Bruce argued that the movement from collectivist to individualistic ideas led to the privatisation of religion with individuals holding religious beliefs but not practising those in public. Furthermore, Bruce argues that in an era of increased communications technology and the movement towards scientific and rational thinking, individuals are less likely to practise religion in public, which leads to a decline in religious beliefs. Individuals have more opportunities and access to scientific thinking than ever before, and this ultimately moves their understanding of the world from being based upon faith to being based upon rationality and science. In evaluating theories that explain secularisation, it's important to note that there is a long-term decline in attendance at religious ceremonies and rituals, particularly in Western Europe, which can be seen as evidence of the views of Wilson, Parsons and Weber. It can also be applied to Bruce's ideas, as can evidence of increasing choice in alternative forms of spirituality, as individuals utilise technology and adopt new forms of beliefs. However, not all sociologists suggest that technology has had a negative impact on religious beliefs. Globalisation has seen some argue that there's been a renewal of faith, particularly outside of Europe, while the impacts of globalisation have brought new forms of spirituality to the attention of the Western world, offering alternatives to more traditional religions. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on Beliefs in Society looking at the process of secularisation. Thanks for watching.